Okay, so welcome to the first of my SGL processing videos. Um, this is going to be a simple narrowband process um, using some curves, levels, high pass sharpening and contrast enhancement. So first of all, um, we're using Photoshop for this and I have here some stacked uh, FITS files, uh, stacked using uh, DSS. Um, and saved off as a 16-bit FITS file. So we'll just import this into Photoshop, just drag and drop. Um, I'm using FITS Liberator plugin. And first thing to check is to make sure the black point is set to zero, uh, as far to the left as it will possibly go, and the white point is as far to the right as it will possibly go. Okay, so just import that. Okay. As you can see, there's not much to look at at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll load a curve. I use stock curves. These are curves which have been saved off and I reuse them time and time again. Uh, the reason is uh, it ensures repeatability and continuity uh, when processing and it enables you to go back and reproduce what you've already done. So. We've got two standard curves, which are quite um, harsh, two gentle curves, one um, background curve, to, just to lift the background level, and one slight push. So what we'll do first is we'll load a standard curve, and we'll OK that. Next, we'll load the next standard curve, OK that. As you can see, the image is starting to come through already, but it's still not enough. And we'll load a gentle curve and then another one. Okay, so next thing to do is just to set your proof setup to Windows RGB. Uh, reason for that is that's how it will look when it's saved up as a JPEG. Um, next step is to do some levels. Uh, what we need to do is just drag this across, but not too far across, because we don't want to clip this black point. Um, that's a bad thing. Uh, that will lead to clip data, and your background will be far too black, uh, which isn't a natural colour, really. Um, so we'll just OK that. This can afford um, another curve. So I'll load another gentle curve. OK. A little bit of levels and then to finish it one slight push okay now this image is now at the point um, where I'd like to sharpen it don't want to push it any further uh, we can do that later um, as you can see this histogram here on the right um, it's lots of spiky bits um, that's noise we don't want that so first thing to do is just apply some very gentle noise reduction. So we'll just call it noise reduction and here you can see a strength of 6 and a preserved details of 85%. Just panning around the image you can see it's not making any big changes to the detail but it's smoothing out those um, dimmer parts of the nebula. So we'll just OK that. OK so that's done. Right, now we need to sharpen this image. So the next step will be to copy this image to a new document. So, OK, paste. And flatten. Set that to RGB. There you go. So, next step is to protect the stars from the sharpening process. Um, so, using these actions, these are Knowles actions. Uh, they're relatively cheap, only a few pounds, and you will use them on every process. They really are worth it. So, you can select all stars by using the action Select Brighter Stars. Run the action. Uh, 
okay you can see the stars are now selected but this selection is still too tight so what I do next is to modify this expand it by one expand again by one and then feather by one next step is to do control J that copies these stars to a star layer as you can see there on in the layers box and that's your star layer there so after that what you need to do is to copy or duplicate this background layer so duplicate layer okay and next set this uh, duplicate layer to either overlay or soft light um, personal preference really but I prefer overlay there you can see um, these areas here these will be these will be the parts that will be sharpened so um, what we need to do now is go to filter high pass and a radius of 4.2 pixels just okay that um, if you just um, select and deselect this layer here you can see the effect um, that it's having on the image so what I need to do now is just flatten this and that's just merged it all to uh, one layer the next step is to get one of these selection tools either a, a lasso or one of the area selection tools and right click on this sharpened image load selection and you can re reload the star selection you did earlier so as you can see the stars are now selected so the reason why I'm doing this is because we want to copy everything except the stars back into the unsharpened image so what I'll do next is expand that by one expand again by one but no feather next is to inverse the selection so now as you can see everything except the stars is now selected so copy this into your unsharpened image you can close this one now you don't need it right we need to um, apply this sharpening selectively now so we're not sharpening areas that we don't need to sharpen so while you've got this top layer selected which is your sharpen layer hold down alt and uh, click the layer mask tool that inserts a black mask um, to, into which you can paint uh, the sharpness so next is, is to select the paintbrush tool and select uh, a brush size which is suitable for the task so I'll just zoom in and you literally paint in the sharpness so we'll just go over this image uh, what we're looking to sharpen are edges really and anything else that carries quite a high signal level so over these edges some edges there and there I believe there's some down here Okay, as, as you can see uh, on that black mask that um, I inserted, you can see um, where it's painted in the sharpness. Um, so next, after you're happy with that, um, but before we merge, um, I'll just uh, select and deselect this so you can see the effect it's having. So you can see it's brought it up quite nicely. So merge these layers. there you go that's the sharpening done what I'll do now is I'll just 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 give this a very slight push okay and some levels remember not to clip this black point here 
Okay, so the next step is to do some contrast enhancements. So same as before, we'll copy this to a new document. Set the proof to RGB and go back to Null's actions and there's uh, an action here called local contrast enhancement. So we'll just run that. So there you go. Um, now we'll just do a quick select brighter starts. Run the action. Expand by one. Expand by one, inverse, copy, and then paste. As you can see, the uh, contrast, the darker areas are now considerably uh, better. Um, detail just pops out now. I'll just flick it on and off, as you can see. Yeah, it's quite nice. So I'll just flatten that. I mean, you can supply, you can apply that selectively if you want by brushing it in, but um, the noise is quite low in this image anyway, so no need to really. Um, to finish, what I'm going to do next is to just do some noise reduction. You can use the the in software noise reduction, or you can use a third party um, plugin. I'm going to use Noise Ninja for this. Um, the thing with Noise Ninja, be very careful with it. Um, it can be quite aggressive and um, can it leads to sort of a smoothed out image which isn't really good and it kills off the detail. So I'll just turn this down to 4 and just pan around the preview just to, just to see what effect it's having. Okay, so you can just OK that. And from there, you can do some slight curves just to bring up the image a little more. And then some levels, although it doesn't really need any. And perhaps we can try a background boost using this one here. And as you can see, it's got um, an anchored point there at these points. And all I do is just adjust this middle one. And it, it raises the background levels without actually boosting any other part um, of the main nebula. So we could just preview that. Yep. Let's bring it up, up quite nicely. So a little more levels. And there you go, that's one finished image. Um, this is a hydrogen alpha image. Um, into this, you could uh, blend it with um, O3 and another HA layer. Um, this will be a luminance layer, obviously. And you could just blend color into it and use this as luminance. Um, but, you know, some people prefer mono images. Um, I quite like it, so. Um, there you go. That's um, session one over.